Hello, this is uh, Ishiyami. Gomenasai, Ishiyama. <laughs> this is Ishiyama Tera, or Ishiyama Temple in Otsu City, in Shiga Prefecture. And uh, I'm going down the stairs really quickly because I want to show you something before I go back up. This is the entrance to Ishiyama, Ishiyama Temple. It's very beautiful. Um, So that's where you wash your hands in the beginning before you enter the temple. Once again, I'm in Ishiyama Tera, which is Ishiyama Temple. This is one of the main temples on a pilgrimage in the area. So I've come here with um, the Biwako. This is this is Lake Biwa, which is right nearby here. It's the biggest lake in the center of Japan. So I've come here with the head of the uh, tourism agency and with one of the local sushi shop guys, and they brought me to this temple. And I was really moved by what I saw, and I thought I would go live and bring you this experience. Check it out. Let's go. <laughs> 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 what a beautiful sight. So I'm gonna take you now. I'm gonna take you now to the top. But first we're gonna go to the Hondo, which is the main hall. And if I have questions, I have uh, Tanaka-san is here with me, and <laughs> that's uh, Inoue-san. <laughs> so this is the main hall of Ishiyamadera. It is absolutely beautiful. go in. We have special permission to film here. Over there is the altar, and that's uh, Buddha. So I learned this as well. You can see here's the altar, but there's a rope here that you can hold when you pray. And this rope is connected all the way. To God, so it's a way to pray to to feel connected. Oh, here it is, to feel connected. I've been carrying uh, bags all day, so you touch your the place that hurts, and then you'll touch. Touch here, and it'll help fix your ailments. You sure? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm kind of feeling a little bit better. <laughs> a lot of it is psychological, but if you, I think there's a lot of meaning behind it. There's a lot of meaning behind it. 
So people will come here um, when they feel sick or they feel ill, and um, they'll do what I just did, which is to touch your body and then to touch, or you'll write here what some of your problems are, and this will help make it go away. Here everybody has written a wish or an onigai. So this is so cool. So let's go let's go up to the top. I know that the, the signal might not be very good, but I'm gonna take you to a little bit further up. But before we do that, this here is the Genji room. And uh in here is where it's being written, the tale of Genji. Not working. Ah, <laughs> Wow. So there's a little um, animated movie. It shows you about this historical spot. It's a little bit creepy, um, but the story is very important. And I, when I was in college, I had to read the tale of Genji. Um, it's a long, long book. Genji. So, <laughs> it's a really long book, but Tanaka-san read it in a manga. There's a manga version, it's much shorter. More exciting. <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's a very culturally important book, Genji to Japan. So I'm going to take you up the mountain a little bit further and up into this structure. It's another place where you can pray. Again, like... It's a very natural place, surrounded by all sorts of um, trees, birds, Moss, rocks. I mean, I'm really loving this. Wow. Best of all, the sky is blue. It's not raining and it's a perfect day besides being about 35 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees out here. It's a beautiful day. Uh, you can pray up here as well. And if you look in, inside you can see Buddha. So you can see Buddha in here. Very spiritual place. I think that's why they put temples in such beautiful natural places like this because it is very spiritual. Um, I'm pretty much will take all of all of this stress from Tokyo and I throw it out and I let all of this in. It's very relaxing. So I'm going to take you to a view where you can see, kind of see Lake Biwa. And I'm going there later today uh, to get some drone footage for an episode I'm making here. So the name of the station is um, Ishiyama. Ishiyama is on the Shinkai Soku line between Kyoto and uh, uh, Maibara. It's one stop, two stops from Kyoto on the Shin Kaisoku. So it's pretty close. There you go. So in the distance you can see 
Lake Biwa or Biwako and this here is a river that comes off of it and if you look on the map at Ishiyama you'll be able to find exactly where I am there's there's now somebody down there canoeing on the on the river beautiful festival you can, can you hear it all the sakeda that's summer in Japan. This is the sound of summer. Very relaxing. So, just the way that the red, this is shuiro. The color is shuiro, which is the color of the sun, and just pops out against the, the green background of all of the leaves. Here on the ground you can see this is the um, part of the Ishi. Ishi means rock and uh, this is Ishiyama which is rock mountain and you can see it really is a rock mountain. Uh, <laughs> I mean there it is. <laughs> it's all rock and somehow the trees have managed to grow and there seems to be well there isn't seem to be but there's just it's just covered in nature Life finds a way. Yeah, Ario, I'm reading some of the comments. You're absolutely right. It's not that hot here. You're in the shade. The, the trees kind of cool you down a little bit. Being surrounded by a lot of nature also is a very cooling thing. Because just outside the entrance of this place, there's no nature at all and it's it's like scolding hot. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? So now I'm walking down. That's pretty much it. I'm going to walk you down to the entrance, but I wanted to share this experience with you. In the autumn, this is all lit up like fireworks because the the leaves are changing colors between red and orange and yellow it's a very stunning sight え、秋に来たことある?うん?ここ、秋。もちろん。もちろん。近くに住んでるね。もみじ。もみじになったらすごい綺麗です。すごい綺麗ですね。今何度ですか? 35? <laughs> I think it's like 35 degrees Celsius. <sighs> Inoue san's checking. There's Tanaka san up there. 34. Ah, 34, almost. So it's 34 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, I guess that's like 88 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But it's it's not just the heat; it's 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 um, humid heat. So it's it's taken a lot out of me. But this truly is rock mountain. So, Ishiyama, it's um, not a stop that a lot of foreign tourists know about. Ishiyama is part of Otsu City. And again, I can't stress this enough, Shiga Prefecture is, it's 
right next to Kyoto. You just get on the train, 10 minutes, you're in another pre prefecture. Shiga Prefecture is one of the most natural prefectures in Japan. And Otsu City, I mean, if, even if you don't like being around all the crowds, and I think after a day or two of being in Kyoto, you're going to want to get out of there. This is a great place to go because it's so much more laid back. And you could use this as a hub to, um, I'm really pushed Shiga Prefecture because I've been enjoying my time here. I'm here to film um, Funazushi, which is uh, one-year-old sushi. Inoue-san is a sushi master, and he's been making Funazushi for about 10 years. Junen kan gore. And that's, that's why I'm here. And uh, everybody's been really friendly to me, so I want to I wanna just promote this area a little bit because I haven't seen any foreigners. I'm the only one here. And uh, I'm 10 minutes from Kyoto, which is just a little bit strange to me. Usually, it, anyone who's ever been to Kyoto will know it's just filled with Westerners and people, other Asian tourists, as well as Japanese tourists, and there are crowds everywhere. Kyoto is, is it's sort of a stressful place for me because I've been there for so many, uh, so many times, but um, it's funny because just 10 minutes by train, you're in another city that's whoosh, just chill. <laughs> and I'm here at one of the most famous shrines in the area and I'm in another I'm in a, a place that just does not compare well it, it compares to Kyoto's beauty but it does not compare in, in terms of Kyoto's crowds which is a good thing to me because when you come to come to a temple or a shrine or you come to a place of worship you want to be in a place of peace and I never that's not exactly true because Kyoto's got like so many shrines and temples but um, the ones, the main ones that you go to, I, I never really get that sense of peace. And here, I, I have, and that's one of the reasons why I'm bringing you to the live stream because I just wanted to share a piece of that peace, a piece of peace <laughs> with you, just so you could see what it's like to go to a, a a temple that is not overrun by tourists. I mean, literally, I I, I think I almost have this place from to myself, except for these people. So, I hope you enjoyed that really short um, uh, live stream. Tanaka-san, what are you going to say? Okay, it's gone. So, now I'm going to go over and, and put the drone, uh, get the drone up and take a look at the, the Biwa area. Um, I've been around the lake a couple of times, but never actually have gotten such a good look of it, look at it for as many years as I've been in Japan, so it's gonna be a really special treat for me to spend some time like right on the lake. Um, everyone goes to Kyoto, and they, a lot of people sort of miss uh, Biwako, which is a shame, so today, that's what I'm here to do, and then I'm going back to, to Tokyo tonight, but thank you everybody for tuning into this very live, um, unplanned stream to show you a little bit of Ishiyama. So if you're in Kyoto, Hop on a train and come to Otsu and hit Ishiyamadera.